Well, hello there, friends and family and gardening enthusiasts. Welcome to another video. This one is a little different. We're in the front yard today and we're getting ready to mow the lawn. And as you can see, it's pretty overgrown, although I'm sitting down here on the floor, uh, or rather on the grass. Um, but it is pretty overgrown, but I let it get this way on purpose because I harvest the dandelions, as you can see here. Um, and I don't spray the lawn uh, with any chemicals um, so that I can harvest these and use them as medicine. And I'm not sure if many people are aware, but dandelions have so many incredible healthy benefits. They're a great source of vitamin A and E and K and B1, B2, B6, vitamin C. You can get manganese from here, iron, copper, and folate. And those are some things that um, usually you replace synthetically. But for me, I don't like to use any kind of synthetic medicines for my body now that I've learned better. Um, I also don't like to use any pesticides or chemicals on my lawn because I've done quite a bit of research and I've discovered that there are adverse health effects for using the lawn chemicals. Um, not only for the environment and our water, but for our animals too. My dog comes out here and she eats the, um, the crabgrass, which looks like this, uh, but many people already know what crabgrass looks like. Um, here's some more of it. Um, and she eats that and uh, it's kind of like instinctual behavior for her when she sees it in the spring she eats it I think it's replacing some nutrients sometimes when her stomach's upset she'll eat some grass and it'll help her get rid of whatever it is that's bothering her so um, I don't like to use any chemicals on my lawn for that reason now there's uh, some other things that I come out here and I collect um, a couple of weeks ago I harvested all of the um, all the scallions that were ripe at the time and I put them in apple cider vinegar and scallions are good for eye health they boost the immune system they have um, antioxidant properties they prevent cancer they protect the health of the cellular tissue and um, you know they fight free radicals they improve the strength of bones are good for blood vessels good for respiratory health so why the heck would I want to cut these down and not use them as medicine? Look at that. Um, now, and they smell mm, really good. I, ju I just love the smell. Um, so I, I make medicine out of that. And then there's some other things here that I come and collect. And here is, now this is getting wilted because I've been sitting out here collecting these for a while. I got to get them in the house. But this is purple dead nettle. And uh, most people call these things that I'm mentioning here weeds, but um, the, this dead nettle, this has anti-inflammatory properties, antioxidant properties, antibacterial, antifungal, it's a diuretic, it's an astringent, it's a diaphoretic, it's high in iron and fiber. I mean, these are beautiful. I love them. So many health benefits. And you can eat it just like lettuce, I mean, if you wanted to. Um, and it's in the mint family, and you can see, let me pull one out. Uh, the stem, the stem is square, which is an indicator that it's in the mint family, and it grows wild everywhere. Now here's Stellaria, or you also call this chickweed, and this is also a good source of vitamins and antioxidants, pain relieving properties, um, supports digestion, gut health, diuretic, it supports skin health. Oh, my doggie just got out. I gotta go get her. Come here, baby. You wanna go in the backyard? Come on, well, that'll give me an opportunity to uh, show you my front lawn and how I let it grow without treatment. All right, let me get the dog into the backyard. Go ahead, doggy, go in there. She got out of her chain. All right, sorry about that. So, so you can see here that I let this overgrow, but we're cutting this down today. I can't harvest anything from this side because you can see here that my neighbor, he treats his lawn actually all my neighbors treat their lawn and uh, I don't and I think that I am the only one um, but let me come over here um, this side doesn't have as many I do harvest from this side this is the only I only harvest from in the middle because that neighbor over there also treats their lawn um, so 
so I'm kind of like the outcast, but I also wanted to mention that I saw a post online about um, members in our community. Someone got a letter saying that um, their property was a mess and they wanted it cleaned up and it was somebody in my community. Now, I didn't get a letter, but I thought I would come out here and take a video. Yeah, my property doesn't look good and I don't treat it, but right now, is the spring when we harvest all these things that you call weed i call them medicines and you can see here i'm a handicap i am disabled from many many health conditions that i took on myself because doctors weren't healing me and i found that the only real heal healing that i've been able to receive is from nature and from these things and to help restore the body and uh everything else so um, I just wanted to, you know, make this little video to respond just to let people know you don't know what's going on at somebody's house, you know, before you send them a letter and, you know, talk about how they keep their house. Now, I'm doing the best that I can with three kids. I'm disabled and my husband works. So that's our story here. So if you're walking by my home in Schoolhouse Gate and it looks like this and you're thinking, why doesn't she cut that? Or why doesn't he cut that? Well, it's because it's my medicine. All right, so I just wanted to offer those that are curious an alternative perspective as far as why you might see something like this, but we're working on it, we're trying. My husband's gonna get out here today because he's off, uh, but he's working on some projects in the backyard first. And that's where I put a lot of my time and energy and effort is in my backyard. Next is the front yard. And I promise to my neighbors, it will look prettier um, now, I didn't, like again, I like I said, I didn't get a letter, but just in case somebody decides to send me one, I thought that I would, you know, put this out there. So, I hope that you all have an incredibly great day. Find some inspiration, find some beauty somewhere, and um, have a good, wonderful day. See you in the next video.